if you're a homeowner, you probably have a garage. And if you have a garage, it probably has a big door like this. A big door that you need to keep locked. Now, most homeowners rely on door opener, behind me here, to keep it locked. All somebody has to do is pull this schmancy little thing right here, and they can open the door. Isn't that convenient? Well, as it happens, most garage doors have a locking mechanism. If you're lucky, it has a key, and you, you twist it, and it sends pieces of metal into the tracks, and that physically forces the door to stay shut. You can't open it when it's doing that, no matter how many times you pull this little lanyard back here. However, if you're an average homeowner with a basic door, you probably have something like this, right? This silly little manual tinfoil thing. You know, don't get me wrong, it works. But how many of you actually lock the garage door at night or every time you take the car out? Five people. Okay, great. Good on you. However, I live in a family with four drivers in it. And that's all we need is somebody to be locking this and try to figure out why the garage door won't open. And the other problem with this guy here, down here, is you can't lock it from the outside. You can't unlock it from the outside. So you gotta come in through the gate, you gotta come in through the side door, and you gotta unlock it manually. Nobody's gonna do that. So the problem that I have is, how can I secure this door automatically without anybody having to step out of their car or do anything inconvenient, yet it be perfectly secure? So the idea that I had, and I wish I could say I, could, I invented this. Uh, I've been doing a lot of research and there's other people out there that have done similar things like this and that is to come up with an electronic door deadbolt that'll send a piece of metal through that track right in front of one of those rollers that the garage door rides on, okay? So that when it's engaged, that piece of metal sticking out, it'll, uh, it'll keep it from being opened when you don't want it to be opened. Okay, great, well, how do I automatically do that? Well, the idea that I had was power it off the light bulb that's in there. So let me show you what I got. Okay, all things being equal, there are garage door openers that do have deadbolts like I'm trying to create here. Um, I am not in the mood to replace my entire garage door opener with a new one just for a deadbolt like this. Besides, I kind of like the idea of doing it myself uh, because it would be completely independent of the unit itself. Uh, it won't be hackable, I know. There's garage doors opener, garage door openers out there that have web interfaces. Just open the dang door, you have one job, okay? So, I have a garage door opener that's perfectly fine. I just want to be able to have it lock itself when that garage door light turns off. And then, of course, when you push the button, it, the light will turn on and unlock the door, right? So this is what I got. I went out on the interwebs, and I honestly can't remember where I got this, so you're going to have to search on your own. But I got me a, a little electronic solenoid here. All right. Okay. So what this little guy does, there's your power, okay? And... He's basically, he's basically a linear motor, okay? So, when you power him, when you power this guy, it pulls this thing into the body, okay? So that's great. If I attach a piece of metal to that, um, it's net, it, you know, it, it'll be stuck in the out position, meaning it'll be blocking the door, it'll lock the door. And then, when uh, that light turns on, it pulls it in and it unlocks the door, lets the door travel like it's supposed to. Okay, so this is what I built. Okay, yeah, I bought two of these. Um, apparently, they come in pairs. So I built this little sled here. Okay, this is the malaprop malapopism here. Okay, all right. So there's our solenoid right here. Okay, there's the bit of metal. This is the thing that will stick through the track. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this 
to the garage door track itself. This face I will drill through the track and into the wood. Wood is important here because I don't want it to be conductive. Um, and I will uh, have it secured through a hole, a little half inch hole, uh, to be locked. Now, remember, the solenoid pulls only, he doesn't push. All right. So what I've done is I've got these little springs here. You can pick them up at Lowe's, Home Depot, any hardware store, no big deal. They have them in a drawer. Uh, and what they do is the natural position of this guy, right here, is in the out position. There's some good tension on these springs here, okay? Uh, and so they're attached to this fence here. And that fence also acts as a guide for the peg, okay? Which is, which is just a piece of aluminum, okay? Um, it's bolted to the face of the solenoid right here as well as the springs okay this also front face here also provides a guide and that mount point that I was telling you about where I just you know put screws through the track into this so it is physically attached to the track and I put this little hole this this piece here secures both fences together so it's a nice strong uh, lattice work uh, so that it won't it won't wear because my intention is to put this in the garage and never touch it again that's it it'll be buried behind the cabinet um, I'll hear it but that's about it okay so hands off and uh, yeah so I did a little bit of woodworking here uh, and used uh, used pops drill press and uh, created this sled I call it the sled um, and I put this hole in here for a little bit of whimsy because, yeah, you know, it's kind of cool. You don't want to see that thing. Says it's going to be mounted. It's going to mount on the wall, like this. Okay, it's going to mount on the track like that. Okay. All right. So yeah, I overbuilt it a little bit. I even I even sanded it and and oiled it. Now that's not whimsy. Okay, making it well engineered is important. And I oiled this. You know, sealed it. You can varnish it. You can. Uh, uh, the important thing is to seal the wood because it's a garage. It's going to have wild temperature swings. It's going to have wild humidity swings. I don't want this wood. And this is oak. I don't want to use pine for this. I want something pretty solid. Um, I don't want this to warp. I don't want to warp. I don't want to crack, break, or do anything like that. So the first thing I did after I fabricated all this wood is I sealed it and then I put it together. So that's why I went a little bit further and actually finished this. Yes, I sanded it. I know, I couldn't help myself, but you know what? That's the German side of me. Malapopism, right? So let me plug this in and you can see how it works. See, retracts it. Release, retract. So when you turn that, when you hit the uh, garage door button, the light turns on and <laughs> unlocks it and the garage door starts to move. And then when that light turns off, releases it. There's your automatic right there. So before you ask, um, am I worried about it blocking the door while the door is trying to move? Well, there's like a half beat of uh, track movement before the door starts to physically lift. This thing's so fast that it'll retract the second that garage door energizes. So there's going to be a little bit of time to get out of the way before that garage door roller goes by it. So it won't jam itself, that would be bad. I'm also gonna give it about uh, maybe a half inch of uh, room between where the peg goes, this peg, and the garage door roller, just as a margin of error there. I don't wanna give any more than that because I don't want somebody sneaking under the door or something like that. So that's what I'm gonna do and I will show you the final product as I put it in. Oh, and by the way, see the sled here has a tail, all right? That's, that's on purpose. That tail is so that it can attach the garage door, garage wall itself. Now, I'm not going to bolt it to the garage wall. Why? Well, because the tracks need a little bit of movement. Okay, They're going to move and shake as the door goes up and down. So I want to make sure that the track itself is only secured to the garage with its own designed mounts. I don't want to create a new mount with this because that might create more tension and stress on the tracks or on the wall or on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to secure it to the side of the garage 
with a sort of a wood brace, uh, not actually going to bolt it or nail it to the uh, stud work of the garage itself. So it can move freely without falling off the wall. Remember, the primary mount, primary mount paint, the point, the one that really matters is the face here. Okay? So that's what the plan is. Okay, it's installed. Time to test. So, alright. There's the brace. It's ever so slightly loose. It's bolted in there pretty nicely so it won't fall. The power comes from that special outlet right there, which I've wired next to this other outlet. The one on the right is the one that's hooked to a special uh, separate set of power leads that goes all the way into that box. It's the main power to the garage, out this conduit, and into this junction box. It's not covered right now because I'm expecting replacement light to come in because when I plug this in, this light won't work anymore, will it? And uh, so this is the lead that will go into the bulb here, and we'll see what happens. All right, so I've hooked it up. With any luck, when I do the brake beam here, the, the safety beam at the bottom of the door, it would normally energize the light bulb, okay? Well, now that we're hooked up, ready to go, all I got to do is break the beam, and this should retract. Hey, look at that. All right, see the little play I left there? It's about an inch. Doesn't look like it on video, but it's about an inch. Trust me on that. So now we'll wait for the garage door to the garage door light to turn off, which should send that bolt out into the track like that, blocking it, and probably scare the crap out of me too. So we'll see. Okay, so the deadbolt just engaged, and it didn't scare the crap out of me. I was expecting a loud bang or a, you know, a, a loud, sharp click, but it didn't. It just went with a, it just went with a thump. Here, let me see if I can recreate it for you. All right, ready? That's it. Nice, right? Okay, so let's test it on the open, right? So if we pull our little lanyard here, let's see if we can open the door. Nope. All right, so let's open the garage door. This should get out of its way. That, ladies and germs, is exactly what I wanted to happen. We're done. Now, I gotta put all this crap back together again. So, that's the Malapopism this time. Automatic garage door deadbolt. Bye.